Bayo left the land of the tigers and the safety of his tribe, believing he would find the road to greatness in the vast jungle. After many weeks, he no longer even knew how to get home. He was in a very strange land. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a pack of jackals surrounded Bayo. With their teeth snarling, step by step, they drew closer. Bayo roared as loud as he could, but the pack of jackals was too big for just one tiger. They attacked. Bayo was swiftly pinned down. He thought this was the end, as all he could see were the sharp teeth of the pack. He clenched his eyes shut. But, to his surprise, the sounds of the snarling jackals changed into whimpering. When he opened his eyes, all the jackals had disappeared. He looked around, only to find an old tiger standing behind him. Bayo looked at the tiger, who was very old and weathered, but there was something strangely familiar about him. What are you doing out here? Don't you know the dangers of this jungle? Yes. I do. My mother has always warned me about the jackal. <laughs> then why are you out here alone? All my life, I have been told that because I was born a peasant, I could not achieve anything great in my life. But I believed in the jungle, I could change my destiny. <laughs> I appreciate your optimism, even if you are very young and very unwise. Excuse me. But how did you chase away the pack of jackals? There are so many, and only one of you, and you do not even have any stripes. Little tiger, do not make assumptions based on physical appearance. You have much to learn. <laughs> From then on, Bayo followed the old tiger through the jungle and began to learn new lessons. He would challenge Bayo to grow from his old ways. Bayo endured the physical training that would test his body to its limit. Days turned into weeks as the old tiger constantly pushed him to become better. Weeks turned into months as Bayo began to fatigue. Then, one day, the old tiger had a new challenge for him. Bayo, you have grown into a strong young tiger. You must now discipline yourself to the next step. The next step? I have been training for more than a year now. When will I be done? In life, we never stop learning. Even those who have already achieved greatness continue to work hard to improve. You see the river bank on the other side? You must leap there without a trace of water on your fur. But the river is at least 20 times the length of my body. If I fall, the strength of the river might sweep me away. I know you didn't come here to tell me what you cannot do. If that were true, you would have stayed at home and never come to the jungle. So, with that, Bayo slowly began running toward the river. The look on his face was one of uncertainty. When he got to the bank, he jumped with all his might toward the other side but dropped into the river before even making it halfway across. Panicked, he struggled and frantically <laughs> swam back to the shore, coughing and sputtering. It's no use. I do not have enough strength to cross this river. That is because you didn't believe. How do you expect to do it if you don't believe it's possible? Bayo shook off the water from his coat. He looked at the river, but this time with determination. He stepped back. And with a giant step, he took off, leaping with all his strength, but still barely made it halfway across before falling into the water. The current was very strong, and this time he needed to be pulled from the river by the old tiger before being carried away. You mustn't give up now. We both know that I am not strong enough. After all, I am just a lowly peasant tiger. If you believe that, then you are wasting my time as well as yours. Self-pity never helped anyone achieve anything. Why do I need to jump to the other side of the river? How will that help me achieve greatness? Little tiger, in this jungle you will be continually tested by things much more perilous than a river. The old tiger walked off, shaking his head. <clears throat> Bayo was angry and frustrated, but now even more determined. He didn't come so far to quit now. Bayo knew that even if he were to jump further than he had before, but still not make it to the other side, he might jump too far for the old tiger to be able to pull him from the river's powerful current. He needed to make it all the way to the other side. 
He mustered all the strength he had left and began to run as fast as he could toward the riverbank. <laughs>